uh hi guys welcome to another jewelry haul um uh today i'm gonna just break up the video into two parts i would like to do the sterling pieces first and then you know all the costume uh, in another video the generally the videos are getting really long so um let's just do by that so here are the items i got from the first guy um so this is a set um this is mexico silver i think that's what it says here on the uh, tag here yeah so it's 930 silver mexico that's what it says and this is the aztec mayan design with the uh, faces and green onyx so that's a nice it's kind of like a choker so that's a nice choker and um, I have matching earrings to go with them so these are screw back earrings with the same face and uh, yeah they match and you know he had another he had a ring which is not exactly being sold as a set but it really matches this so I got the ring so you know it could be paired together as a set so that's one of the pieces I got from him it's a really good one and then um, I have this uh, really uh, nice looking brooch so uh, it looks a little bit like shell like tiny oyster or tiger eye. it's not really tiger eye, but it looks a little bit like that and it's like really nicely done um, I really like this brooch and I uh, got that and it says Mexico silver in the back there so that's another item that I got from him um, so here's a cat brooch so this guy has like a Murano glass belly with blue eyes I don't think this is silver it actually says Spain in the back um, if I can see yeah it says Spain I don't think this is sterling silver but this is a unique uh, boot, so you know anything that looks different. It's it's mostly for you know for my own entertainment, uh, doing all this. Um, you know, not really for. I didn't start this to like you know make it into a business or anything. It was just for pure amusement purposes, and I really like jewelry. Um, but then I started collecting a little bit too much, so I'm like, you know, I've opened an Etsy shop, um, it's called Vintage by Trader, and I, uh, make most of the listings there, because it's just a lot of it, you know, I've accumulated so much, uh, just recently. So, um, moving on, so I have, uh, these earrings from him, so this is like a tiny garnet. Uh, these are Cocopelli earrings, uh, that's their fertility guard for Native American people. Um, so it has like a tiny garment in it. I uh, really like them. I, I think I'm gonna keep them for myself. Um, so those are those earrings. And um, I saw a ring which is pretty similar, so this is also garnet looks a little different with the uh, spiky dots up there. I took a soldering class once, so I do know how they create these dots up here. You know, and bezel settings, I've taken that once. Um, so this actually kind of matches with the garnet in here. I generally don't wear rings, but I might just hold on to that. So uh, that's another thing. Um, I did get a lot of cats this time, and uh, here's another kitty. Um, he's actually sitting down, and this is from uh, Jesleen. Uh, it says Jesleen 925 in the back. It's a little tough to read, but that's that. So, um, and after that, I have another cat uh, ring. Here, this is a kitty, and it says Sterling Mexico inside. It says Puma, Puma or something. So I'll have to look up the designer who actually made this. 
So that's another. So I've kind of got a lot of cats this time. So there's this guy and the Cheslin uh, um, brooch and there's another brooch. Um, I do like animal uh, brooches and stuff, anything that looks unique. So that's that and the last piece I got from him is this fish pendant. It's um, kind of intricate the way it's uh, done. Um, so I thought that was really cool. So I think this is 95 somewhere, yeah, 95 in the on its sale. So that's a pendant that I got. So these are the items that I got from the first vendor, and um, these were I think I paid a 180 dollars for all of this. And um, moving on to the next p person. So these are all the things I got from another vendor. Um, I got a lot of stuff from this guy. So um, so the first things that we have here are these turquoise and coral pierced earrings. This kind of look like modern design rather than anything vintage. But you know, he said these are Native American. So I kind of like the Native American culture. So uh, I'm very interested in anything Navajo, Zuni or Hopi. So I uh, like to collect those. So I, uh, I picked that up. It's coral and uh, turquoise. And then the next item we have here is um, these are like conch earrings with you know um, with dangles so the dangles contain like lapis malachite spiny oyster black onyx green onyx turquoise so it's like a mixed beads uh, the dangles are made up of these different beads and it says sterling in the back and these are pierced earrings so uh, that's that and then I have, um, I picked up this brooch. This was like really um, pretty. Uh, that's that's a jade leaf for sure. And that is also like, you know, that's a bead that kind of is in a very nice green. So, and this looks like it could be like, you know, um, gold fill, 12 cat gold fill or one, one by 20th gold fill for sure. By the color of it, I can tell. I can't seem to like actually find um, any markings as of now but you know I might find something later on so that's a really pretty brooch so I uh, picked that one up and I have this after that this is kind of interesting this is a matchstick with a yellow head and this is a pendant which I totally like and uh, I'm sure I'm gonna use that for myself so then I have that um, then I have this uh, unique brooch this is like um, I think that's inlaid turquoise and a little bit of inlaid coral and it says this is sterling silver and it says coral i think this is coral uh, and it has one more name beside it and it has patent number on it so generally all these fancy looking designs are like you know they have a patent pending and generally they're marked by uh, something say that says patent pending so this is the brooch i got and then um, after that I have this piece um, this is actually um, not silver this is just regular metal it's kind of funky looking but the stone is really pretty so um, I, I got it that was uh, that was a nice looking uh, pendant and then I have this uh, this is a really pretty locket it actually opens up um, it's just uh, regular it's not uh, sterling but that that's really pretty and you know I, it's such an interesting piece so I got that um, then after that I have uh, this huge sterling silver uh, choker this is this is a choker this comes pretty close to your neck and it has um further like beads and you know intricate uh, woven pattern here 
so this is pretty huge like you know this actually does weigh at least 30 over 30 grams I'm, i i should uh, weigh it again i don't remember how much it was weighing but this is a huge um uh, uh piece so i got that one from him and then um after that i have this uh, tiny music note um that has like some yellow stones on it there is some kind of marking on the brooch i uh, have to like you know examine closely with my uh, uh magnifier but that's like so cute i do have something similar to this um it might have been in one of the halls um i think it's a harp which is kind of similar looking with like um, green stones in it that was really pretty so anything like, like pitted and pretty i just get it it's, that was like really pretty i really liked it um and then i have this brooch um with some malachite on e either side and there's the rope design going on this looks like your classic david yerman uh, bracelets the rope design kind of resembles that even this uh, uh you know go brass work here it is very reminiscent of uh, david yerman's designs so that was really pretty i uh, picked that up and then um, I have a bolo tie here. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually silver, but um, there is uh, inlay in it, turquoise and coral inlay with an eagle on, on there. And uh, the, it says TT on the back and there is a trademark. So I have to actually look up who that uh, designer is and uh, uh, there are the ends of it so it is a pretty big uh, um, bolo tie with a nice leather cord so i have to find out if that's actually uh, um, silver so after that i have these earrings um, these are native american navajo um, sorry i keep pronouncing it navajo i just can seem to shake it off now a whole um, turquoise uh, sleeping beauty turquoise earrings and it's it says sterling perry so uh, i think this is felix perry or somebody i have to look it up so anything that's signed you know it has a history to it and it's interesting to find out like who the designer is and what's the story behind it so um anything with a name to it i generally pick it up and then um i have this piece here this is a cinnabar um bangle um i'm not a big fan of cinnabar but you know that was intricate and pretty well done so um i thought i'd pick it up it's a it's a unique piece so um that's what i got and then a um, few more things here so this is a pendant and this is i think that's malachite that's a really pretty hot pendant you know with a dangle in in between so this one is actually i think that's taxco yeah you can see that markings that is definitely taxco so that's pretty so i picked that one up um and then I have a tiger's eye pendant. Um, it's really pretty. I, I'm not a fan of uh, tiger's eye or I don't know if you call this tortoise shell. Um, I think that's definitely tiger's eye. Uh, so yeah, I picked that one up. That was kind of like interesting looking. And then I have a few um, last pieces here. So these are... Um, big earrings um these are nine to five mexico with black onyx uh ball in there and the drop uh this these are like really pretty earrings and then um i actually found a matching pendant for it uh, it says nine to five mexico so uh those are those go together so i could just like, list them as a set 
so um, I got those and then I have um, this bracelet this is like a woven uh, uh, three layer silver bracelet I'm kind of on a kick of these kind of um, dainty bracelets well the problem with these are like they're so hard to um, put them on on your right side generally I wear a watch on my left side on my left hand so you know I, I tend to wear my bracelets uh, bangles on the right hand and this kind of class are like so difficult to get on so um, I don't know I might have to like stack them on the left hand so I got that bracelet um, and then he added uh, this set um, since it's I, I bought a lot of stuff from him so this is like a leather card um, necklace with uh, some real pearls and sterling silver accents and uh, there is a matching uh, bracelet to go with it so uh, yeah so he added that in um, so I paid a uh, uh, whopping $310 for all of this um, yeah partly because you know I added this this is like a huge piece um, so yeah these days I'm like spending a lot more um, I initially when I started I was just only picking up costume pieces and not really a lot of sterling silver but I know I am on a kick for uh, these things these days so these are all the items I uh, actually got from this guy and uh, those are the ones from the one prayer to this so um, I'm gonna just end this video here I do have a bunch of costume pieces and this is already running 17 minutes if I would have added the other stuff that would have taken up a lot of space um, so I'm gonna just make another video for all the uh, tiny costume pieces um, I've done I generally like to document this so that you know I can uh, you know s sometimes look back and see what I bought like you know further down the line um, but you know I haven't done a lot of videos in between I was really not feeling it so there there have been a lot of um, hauls that I've I've gotten but I've not created videos um, I'm trying to just get them done this time so um, so um, that's about it for this video um, thanks for watching bye